Hey guys, Dr. S here. I just wanted to pop on and wish you happy first Sunday of 2020. Given that it is the year 2020, we know that everyone's motto, slogan, just message for the year is going to be about seeing things clearly, something having to do with vision, having to do with seeing or something of that nature. And I just, of course, wanted to jump on the bandwagon and share with you a little bit about uh, what the Lord shared with me. So talking about vision, talking about being able to see, we know that sometimes we don't always see clearly, obviously. In the natural, we don't always see clearly. Obviously, I don't always see clearly as, a, as I have on glasses and I also sometimes wear contacts. And sometimes in order to see things clearly, we have to do things that are going to make us adjust our sight, right? We need things that are gonna help us see clearly. And so I was thinking about that in relation to our spiritual walk, our growth in business, accomplishing goals whatever that may be whatever it is you're trying to see clearly whatever you're trying to do clearly um, and with clear direction you may have to adjust a little bit to make that happen right you might not be able to do it just regular in your own eyesight you may have to I don't know take a class or get a mentor or start working out or any number of things that you have to do to make your vision 2020 and here's the other thing with that is not everybody's adjustment is the same my son wears glasses if he wore my glasses and I tried to wear his glasses neither one of us would be able to see clearly because those adjustments are made for us specifically and not for somebody else so as you're figuring out and you're talking to the Lord about what you need to do to get your clear vision, don't necessarily look at how someone else is doing it or try to compare yourself to someone else because you might still trip and fall because you're not going to be able to see. So I would just encourage you today as you go about this week, as you go about this month, maybe even throughout the year. Figure out what you need to do. Ask the Lord for clear direction for what you need to do to walk in his will, in his perfect will, in his 2020 vision for your life this year. So enjoy this wonderful day and I love you and I'll see you next time.